All right, so now let's do a small exercise to understand this better. So here I have already previously written code. Let's reuse this code, no problem. So here uh, in the main, what I do is I call a generate interrupt function. Okay. Now let's keep a breakpoint here and uh, let's uh, go to debug mode and let's hit run. Okay. So now the program is actually halted here, right? So that means the processor is now about to execute this instruction BL that is branch with link to this address, right? So this function is actually located at this address. Okay. So that also means that this address is now going to be placed into the PC, right? Now, if I hit single step here, this address will going to be placed in the PC. According to our discussion, what I just said is any address you place in PC must has its 0th bit as one. Okay. So, but look at this address. The 0th bit of this address is not one. Right. So, but I just said that this is going to be placed into the PC. Right. So that is actually true. If I just single step. Okay. You can see that that address is actually this address is actually placed in PC. Okay, so now here you are expecting that 0800339 should be placed into the program counter, isn't it? But for PC, the 0th bit is not useful. The 0th bit is actually copied to the T bit of the EPSR. So that's why your ID shows it as 338. But truly speaking, 339 is actually uh, placed into PC. Okay. Now what we'll do is instead of calling this function in this fashion. Okay. So what I do is I'll just create one function pointer jump ADDR wide and I initialize this uh, uh, function pointer to the address of this function. So I just write like this. Okay. So here I, I just created one function pointer called jump address and I initialized that jump address function pointer to the address of this function. And then I call jump ADDR. I just dereference that pointer so that I come here. Now these are legal lines of code, isn't it? So I'll just compile it and yes, it compiled successfully. And uh, now I'll just keep a breakpoint here and uh, I'll just flash this code and I'll just go into the debug mode and I'll just hit run. And now I am about to dereference this pointer, but look at jump address value. The compiler is stored the value 0 cross 8 0 0 0 3 3 9 in the jump ADDR pointer, right? But what is the address of generate interrupt? The address of the generate interrupt is 338. So that means the compiler somehow managed to increment the 0th bit to 1. So what this line does, here it is, BLX branch, right? Now I'll just single step it, okay, and observe PC here. And PC is loaded with 338. So that's correct. Okay. And the T bit is one. Okay. So now your control comes to generate interrupt. That's fine. So now what I do is instead of making this, what I do is I'll just write zero cross zero eight zero zero. Okay. Zero three three eight. And I will just make it as white pointer here. Here, I actually hard coded the address of this function into this pointer. So now we'll see how this works. Okay, great. So now let's compile this code and let's download and I'll just keep a breakpoint here and uh, let's go into the debug mode and I'll just hit run. Okay, great. So now I'm about to dereference this pointer and this pointer, the dereferencing this pointer is nothing but placing okay this address onto the PC isn't it so because this line is nothing but this one 
plx r4 okay the content of r4 is this address 338 which is going to be placed onto the pc right and observe that the value of the 0th bit is not 1 okay it is 0 so now let's remove this breakpoint and just do single step just do single step okay so before that okay let me check what exactly is the value of t bit t bit is 1 okay great and and now observe pc and t bit when i do the single step now i am doing the single step okay here it is the pc is loaded with 338 that's correct this address and the t bit is cleared okay so why because the 0th bit is not 1 right so that's why the 0th bit is 0 that's copied into t bit okay now the processor is about to execute this instruction okay which is there at 338 address but according to our discussion here if t bit is reset then processor thinks that the next instruction which it about to execute is from arm instruction set so this must be arm instruction set instruction but the cortex m processor doesn't support any arm instruction set this is actually thumb instruction set so that's why the moment you try to execute this instruction the usage fault exception will trigger and you'll be trapped in that ex exception handle so let's see that happens or not so i'll just hit single step here and here it is we are trapped in the hard fault handler since usage fault handler is not yet enabled we actually trap in the hard fault handler so that clearly indicates that okay you should not execute any instruction in cortex m processor by keeping t bit as zero okay the t bit has to be one so how to solve this uh, problem now so now just increment this address by one right so now you have made this address as odd isn't it okay the last bit is maintained as one and that address will be dereferenced to here and when that address is copied into the uh, program counter the last bit will be copied to the t bit which is one so your thumb state execution will be maintained okay and the processor will be happy right so now let's check this okay so now let me just build this code let me download and uh, okay so now let me just keep a breakpoint here great so now for, you are all set to uh, place this address right that is 339 okay onto the pc right so just expand the PSR okay the T bit is 1 and PC is this value so now I'll just remove this and I'll just do a single step and you can see that we indeed reached the generate interrupt function okay which is that at this location if you don't increment this address here you saw that the control actually went to hard fought handler right so that's the importance of the t bit so most of the time you need not to worry at all okay you should worry only when you hard code the value of the function address into some function pointers in this case i am hard coding the address of this function okay into this pointer in that case only i should manually take care of maintaining the 0th bit as one otherwise if i just do something like this then i need not to worry at all because the compiler will take care about incrementing the 0th bit great that's all i want to talk about the t bit of the epsr register and let me know if you have any questions and i will see you in the next lecture